Welcome to Pow TV viewers. I'm Chris Coleman. What can I say? After two years of E3s where the uh, game's been made available for us to view but not to play, uh, also a delay and several other events where we've not been able to actually play the game, uh, also an embargo that left uh, reviews for the game up until today, the 27th. Watch Dogs is here! Finally here! Um, I've we're going to do a little bit of an unboxing right now. We're going to uh, pull out the um, uh, DeadSec edition of the game. Um, before I do, I just want to take you a little little journey on. This is the PS3. This is my uh, sorry PS4. This is my PlayStation 4. Uh, picked it up, and on the back, as you can see, games, games, games. Uh, Watch Dogs. Ooh, Watch Dogs. When's that coming out? Finally out now. So the DeadSec edition <sighs> is here. <laughs> And as you can see, there is a uh, not too dissimilar size. I mean, you've got a little bit there and a little bit here, but thickness-wise, I'd imagine if I uh, wanted one, then this is the size of a, a, a Wii U, I'm expecting. But anyway, it is here, so let's, oh, let's get ready to open this bad boy. Uh, I'll just find my craft knife so we can be nice and safe. Okay, where's the best place to open this thing? You can see, uh, before I open it, on the back there's all these details about the game. You can, uh, includes the game, statue, all these bunch of goodies. Let's quickly read them off. So this is meant to come with the Watch Dogs game, the uh, Aiden Pierce figurine, a steel book, art book, uh, original soundtrack for the game, which comes on CD, very 90s, uh, map of Chicago, a set of four augmented reality collectible cards, Three exclusive badges, and then a bunch of uh, digital content. So let's crack this thing open and have a look. Where is the best place to do this without damaging this beautiful box? Directly on the front, it would appear. Okay. Let's open up this bad boy. Let's take this cellophane. Right. Ooh la la. So, where does it open? Ah, I have a bad feeling about this. And I would be correct. It looks like there is a cardboard sleeve that's going to be disposable once it's removed, which I always hate when they do that. Because you never want to throw them away. This is the same with the... Uh, the Batman Arkham City game, the collector's edition for that, which looked amazing until you bought it. Yep, there you go, a little bit of cardboard. Ooh, paint, there we go. I like to keep things pristine. Which this is already isn't. But I'm guessing, yeah, you throw away this bit. And I don't like to do that, because whenever you have something collectible, you're collecting it for a reason. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. It's a it's a very large box, so may, maybe that won't be the case this time round. I think that's all of it. No, more sellotape. Hold on. There we go. So the back that tells you everything in the front with the, the rating and the PS4 branding and all that kind of stuff. Big bit of cardboard. There you go. I'm going to throw that in the bin, I guess. But I probably won't. Okay, so let's do this thing. So this opens up like so, and let's not quite do it like that because it looks like it's all going to fall apart. Okay. Oh, that doesn't half open up, doesn't it? There we go. Right, so uh, everything's in a mess. That's brilliant, but I assume it's all meant to be nicely in there. This is the aforementioned steel case. Uh, there you go. Main character inside, a little bit of artwork. There we go. We just put that to one side. And then we have the game, Watch Dogs. Includes 60 minutes of exclusive gameplay if you bought the PlayStation 4 version. So I'll be looking forward to that. There we go. Uh, this is the Chicago map. Let's just take a look how big this is. This looks rather big already. I'm assuming this is a digital map, so don't go 
Trying to navigate your way to Chicago with it. Oh my lord, look at it. It's huge. Uh, map of Chicago for you. Lovely. Big thing. Let's just uh, pop that away nicely. Go. And what else we got? These, I assume these are the AR cards. Yep. Ooh. Yep, these look like the AR cards. Let's just. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's presented nicely, but because apparently this was delivered to me by Neanderthals, it's been kicked about a bit. So let's have a look. Something this is T bone. There you go. Just a little AR. Uh, default. Aiden Pierce. I'm guessing these are character names then. I know that one. And Clara Lily. There you go. If you want to recreate them at home, there you go. Okay. And then has a nice little thingy here which slots everything into place so I'm wondering what you use these for if this would be for the the app the mobile app maybe or is it for the PlayStation Vita because that uses AR or maybe it's something to do with the camera I'll have to check and find out um, ah I believe this is for the App Store Android application so there you go. If you're not smart, if you're a Windows Phone user, you are clear out of luck, my friend. Okay, there's the AR cards. Here is the soundtrack. CD. I'm sure I'll be listening, I'll be putting that on my MP3 player and listening to that on the way to work. We've got some badges for some reason. If you're a Delson Row type and you like to stick badges all over your denim jacket, there you go. Some nice badges for you. Uh, oh, I'm saving that bit for last. What is the? This would be the art book, I believe. Yep. Looks like uh, everything else is brandished here. Let's just pull out something nice. Ah, this is default. The character default. There we go. It's a bit like Dead Mouse. Uh, let's put this up in the background. I'll lay all this nicely in a minute. Okay. What could be in a polystyrene box? I wonder. In a giant, giant box. Oh, so let's put this box away. Okay. Joking hazard, collector's item, not for the ages of under 14, apparently. And also sellotaped. One second. Haha. <laughs> there we are. Oh, wrong way. Okay, now here's my problem. Instantly, here's my problem. Front, says watchdogs, front, back, nothing on the back. That's how you'd expect it to be. There we go. Oh, I was right. I just had a perception problem there. Okay, so here we go. This is the Aiden figurine. Let's take him out. He looks very delicate. Oh, oh, he's a proper statue. He's not a figurine. Okay, or is he? Let's have a look. Seems to be resin painted plastic. It's what it feels like. I can't be sure because I don't want to break him, you see. There you go. He's in his trench coat. He's got his gun. He's got his little smartphone. There we are. Okay, so let's just have a quick setup, show you what we've got. Again, we have Aiden Pierce, the figurine for all the girls and boys under the uh, over the ages of 14. One steel collector's book, one video game of Watch Dogs, a map of Chicago, presumably in game, a soundtrack CD, some AR cards, some badges, 
and then a ridiculously gift big box. <laughs> so, this is the uh, the Watchdogs Dead Sec Edition. Uh, if you are interested, I believe this runs around an RRP of about eighty to hundred pounds. So, uh, yes, if you are prepared to shell out, this is what you will be getting for your money, plus the other d digital content that I've not spotted any cards or anything for. So maybe they're in the sealed game. We'll, we'll have to have a see. Um, so for TPAL TV, I've been Chris Coleman. Uh, be sure to check out the palaceofwisdom.co.uk and our other uh, videos on the channel as well. And until next time, goodbye.